I had already been like the reason I wrote on inflamed and was like, you know, up, up to my neck and all of these research studies on on microbiome uh, was because my community at, in Yoga Healer and Body Thrive had turned to urine therapy and urine therapy is where you use your own urine as medicine. And I went in with a it was kind of like the, the reverse of double blind studies. I went in with a, with a bias with a cognitive bias of like, well, we have Ayurvedic texts from 2000 years ago that describe using all the different kinds of mammal urine um, in its different therapeutic use, including humans using their own urine. This is something that has always fasc fascinated me, urine therapy. And I tried it for the first time. Uh, I got a bit of sciatica back the other week. And so I, I'm just weed all over my leg I wanted a jar and then just kind of put it on my leg and wrapped it up in hot towels so talk us through urine therapy because a lot of people will think that's disgusting <laughs> yeah yeah you've been trained you've been trained to think a lot of things are disgusting just like in COVID we were trained to disgust each other right so if the the vaccinated had disgust against the unvaccinated so disgust is a psych ops tool that's always been used to um, basically take power from the people. So disgust is societally generated and it's also, it's also biologically generated. So like if you smell something rotten, you know, anyone who's ever like had to clean up a mess, like a biological mess in particular, you know, whether it's from a dog or a baby and it's like, it makes you wretch, like that's physiological disgust, but then there's the whole psych ops disgust, right? And then we saw that in COVID where we were psychologically disgusted potentially by someone's behavior, right? That's trained, that's societally trained. So it's a, it's just a manipulation tool. So with urine, um, every baby is fascinated with their urine. So we know that it's not biological. Animals are fascinated by each other's urine. And that's a huge way that they spread the microbiome. That's a huge way that they're, that's why animals, mammals in general did not get sick, even though they had, they carried COVID, but their microbiomes were resilient. So what urine does, and I went into the research of Uninflamed, which is like a ridiculously long book. It's 90,000 words. And wow. I just went in with the like, why does urine therapy work? And the reason I asked that question is because we can see it in every culture. We can see it in every first people's culture and we see mammals doing it. Right, we see mammals literally, and I, I talked to one, one um, doctor who's that he's actually the head of UCLA medicine. And after we stopped recording, I said, what do you know about mammals drinking their own urine? And he said, you know, just the scientist in him, just, you know, no disgust, just complete curiosity. It was like, oh yeah, there was a, a lab rat study where we watched the, the postpartum mother, we measured her electrolytes before and after birth and she consumed the urine of the babies and her electrolytes skyrocketed wow wow that is uh, so well consuming so that's drinking now i didn't have the courage to drink my urine i have to say okay i'm not gonna lie so i just i kind of wrapped yeah, it on no, my it's leg okay. and it's okay to be disgusted i just want to help people with that too like it's okay to be disgusted because you've been entrained and it's like and it's to me how disgusted we are by urine is how conventional our habits are right so the more primal our habits the less we're biologically disgusted right the less we have we understand adversity habits like we understand fasting we understand cryotherapy or cold exposure we we're, we understand fitness we understand sleep like our physiology is entrained with the planet with circadian rhythm ultradian rhythm diurnal rhythm like we're entrained but the further we've gotten around out from that is just the more we've been conditioned by culture and that's not your fault like that's just what you've been exposed to so it's okay it's okay to be completely disgusted by this conversation but i want to say one more thing <laughs> And that's because I'm heavy on the research side. I ran into a study from Ayurveda. It was a text 2000 years um, ago that analyzed camel urine, how humans consume these urines as medicine from camel urine to cow urine to about eight other species of, of mammal. And, and in Ayurveda, in true Ayurvedic um, pathogenesis form described exactly how the medicines work for specific diseases and what they all find, what all of the urines do, including your very own human urine, is they're antitoxic, meaning they're detoxing and they're nourishing. And particularly, they're nourishing to the microbiome. 
So they're like fertilizer for the microbiome. And then if you look one step further, you see that we always spread urine on our crops. We always diluted urine with water and sprayed it on our crops. And it's both, a, it's a nitrogen fixer, right? But it's also a pesticide. It is, and it is amazing for the compost. And I have to say, when I had my garden being done, there was a portaloo for all the guys working here. And I go, please, if you need a wee, go, go and piss on my garden. And my sister would never, ever let her husband use the toilet for a wee. There was a bottle in the house, even if he wanted a wee in the middle of the night. And it's just like, I'm going to save that because it is phenomenal for my soil. Sorry to interrupt this podcast. Why don't you come and sign up to my newsletter at phillyjlay.com where we can keep connected and we can talk about lots of things going on in the world. You will also get my free manifestation meditation so you can become a shit hot manifester too. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and turn your notifications on so you never miss an episode. Thank you.